Thanks for clicking on this video. Join us on day two of the brand new Celebrity Ascents preview sailing. We will show more of what this ship has to offer, enjoy dinner at the rooftop grill, and check out the new port area in Nassau. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Now, let's see why Celebrity Ascent is our new favorite ship. I did share more about the buffet yesterday in yesterday's vlog, um, but this buffet is wide open, very beautiful, um, one of my favorite buffets. They have an omelet station, um, all kinds of meats and things. A whole section with fresh fruit. Um, yeah, I've never seen a buffet this nice. looks really good. Yesterday's lunch buffet was really good. Um, we only had a little bit of it because we had concierge lunch, but it was really good. Um, Cheryl just said they have so many options. She didn't even know what to put on her plate, but this is her plate. Yeah, so lots, lots to choose from. I'm really impressed with the food on Celebrity. Um, yeah, they might be taking the ranking for the, the best food on a cruise ship. Um, Norwegian was up there. I don't know, Celebrity might have them beat. As I thought that was funny, the Great Poupon. So yeah, different class of ship, for real. <laughs> so guys, yeah, these uh, chocolate, I forgot what you call them, it's like a French name. Um, guys, I've had, I ate a lot of these on MSC. These are so buttery and flaky and it has chocolate inside. This is my favorite thing on the buffet. Mm -hmm. um, everything has been pretty good. The eggs were scrambled a little too soft for our liking, but they do have a egg station where they'll make the eggs your way. That was, um, Cheryl said her potatoes were slightly hard. Mine were fine, but I don't think there was anything else that we didn't like. It was all, it's all pretty good. So impressed with the breakfast buffet. Lots of, lots of options. So, um, yeah. Oh, the coffee. So usually, you know, I advocate for, you know, not getting a coffee package. Usually the cruise coffee is pretty good. This um, coffee to us seems a little bit too strong and a little bitter. And I think part of it is, is that they're in these containers that um, they're not brewing the coffee fresh. Um, they 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 like brew it someplace else and they bring it and pour it in. So you don't know how long that coffee is sitting wherever they're brewing it and it just has this bitter like burnt taste so not a fan of the coffee but there's tea um juice water milk all kinds of other things to have to drink um i'll probably have to pay for coffee because i gotta have coffee every day um so yeah but overall we're, we're impressed with it So this is the back of the buffet, the Ocean View Bar. So if you want to get away from the buffet, that's here. And I think this is the pizzeria here.
All right, so just relax a little bit in one of the champagne jacuzzis. Uh, they have two different ones. One here, you see Cheryl still in it. And then one back that way. Um, and then they also have some jacuzzis um, located in the solarium. And there were a couple others, I think, toward the back of the ship. And then if you are a retreat guest, meaning you, um, the retreat section's over this way. Now we don't have access to that, but the retreat is for those that have a spa cabin. And you actually have, which I think is really nice, you have a designated area that has like a small pool jacuzzi, uh, like plush lounge shares, all of that. Um, so there, if you get a spa cabin. But yeah, it's really nice, we're enjoying it. Um, do you see Charles kick back, relax? Yep, we're just enjoying this port day. Now over here we have Carnival Vista in port. I know I probably shouldn't be showing other cruise ships while on board another cruise ship, but you guys know I love Carnival. We'll be on Carnival Horizon, which is the sister to Carnival Vista um, in July. So guys, it's pretty cool that the jogging track is on an incline. So if you wanna get your workout on, you can do that here. Um, it inclines from deck, I think deck 14 up to 15 but pretty cool. Yeah, so guys, I love that on the pool deck, they have a lot of umbrellas. So you could, you're definitely gonna find shade. And they have the cabanas for rent. I'm not sure how much those are, but I'll try to find that information. But the cabanas, you get drinks and things um, included with the cost of your cabana, but we'll check out see what the pricing is. But these large black umbrellas are really nice for those like me that need to have some shade. That was the shade element in the sun right, right. They probably moved from over there. Uh -huh. So yeah, they have plenty of seating uh, spots. Like I've never seen this much variety on a cruise ship. Like you can just really kick back and lounge. There's so many different little nooks and crannies um, on this ship right here at the pool deck. And I'm not one to ever sit on a pool deck, but I could sit on this one because you're gonna get some shade and it doesn't feel crowded at all. Yeah, All right, so the ice cream, the scooped ice cream, they have scooped and soft serve. It looks like they changed the ice cream out because they had different flavors from yesterday, but it's complimentary. You can get it in a cup, you can get it in a cone. Um, and then they have peanut butter cookies, which peanut butter cookies are like my favorite, my sister's favorite as well. So we're gonna give the peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookies a try. Guys, they have so many desserts. And if you guys don't know, I have a bad sweet tooth. So I could really see myself gaining weight on this type of cruise. I tend to not um, eat a whole lot when I cruise, but when the food is good, the food is good and I will eat. Um, but yeah, I have a bad sweet tooth. But I got the coffee ice cream. I really wanted the praline, but he scooped the wrong one, but I like coffee. So I'm like, I'll have the coffee ice cream and I got a peanut butter and chocolate chip cookie. So yeah, the um, the coffee ice cream is good, but they put these cost rolls in now. <laughs> they put the coffee beans in there, and the coffee beans have to be the same, <laughs> same bitter, um, really strong coffee that they make for breakfast. But the actual ice cream without the beans, really good. Let's try this chocolate chip cookie. Guys, it's kind of melty looking. Look, mm-hmm. It's good. It would be better warm. Now let's try the peanut butter cookie. A word of caution, if you have an allergy to nuts, I literally watched the guy take my chocolate chip cookie with the same tongs as the peanut butter cookie. Mm -hmm. So you might wanna ask them to scoop your cookie separate or maybe just avoid it if you have a severe allergy. But I, I'm very intentional to watch for those types of things because our boys have nut allergies and you don't want that cross-contamination. Um, you could have done that at work though. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. They should just call it, yeah. They should just call it a, a peanut cookie. Cause it's almost like a sugar cookie with just peanuts in it. 
not really a peanut butter flavor cookie. It's not bad, but I expect, I like a lot of peanut butter in my peanut butter cookies, and this is more like a peanut cookie. And Cheryl said, bring your own ketchup. She has not found ketchup yet, but they did have great coupons, so. <laughs> <laughs> so since, since I mentioned about um, having an allergy, something else to note, and I always talk about accessibility, if you're with somebody that like uses a walker or like drags their feet or whatever, there are quite a few little kinky areas on the kinky areas. Kinky. Not kinky. <laughs> We're not virgin voyages. <laughs> it's not kinky on this ship. <laughs> but there's areas where there's like little kinks in the carpet. And I don't know whether it's just because it's brand new, but like you could easily trip. So just make sure you're watching where you're going. There's not like caution tape to say like there's a slight incline or a slight ramp. You just realize it as you're walking up it. And like I know some family members and friends that, you know, would possibly trip walking. Um, we've noticed that a few different spots. So just be careful. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But um, you, of course the ship is accessible, wheelchair. Actually, when we were on deck, was it deck 15? We were trying to get to deck 16, I yes. think it was. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm assuming one side of the ship has the elevator that goes up to 16. The other side doesn't. I can't recall which side we were on. We were trying to get to the jacuzzi and they actually had an elevator like lift attached to the stair um, case for those that are that have mobility challenges or wheelchair. So I thought that was pretty neat um, that they had that. So that is available. And I'm assuming the other side, the elevator does go all the way up. But yeah, so just keep those things in mind. I like to give you guys some useful tips, but um, we're preparing to have a live stream here in a minute. I'm waiting for them to open up this dessert buffet so I can get my pictures, guys, because the desserts here are really good and they're just so beautiful. So I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting here watching, wait, ready for them to open it so I can get my shots. Give some extra dough to the back. We have, we have a lot. I was waiting for you to do that so I can, it's beautiful. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. So, um, something cool that they do, we noticed it yesterday with the, um, so they don't disturb you guys now. Sometimes you're eating and the bartenders will keep coming over to you to ask if you want a drink. Um, they came over and asked and then they lay it, they lay the menu down so that they know that they've already come to ask you. So they're like, yeah, we don't want anything right now. Um, so he just laid it down. So yeah, that's pretty cool so that you're not being, you know, feel like you're being harassed. All right, so grab lunch. Um, I stuck with Indian. They have an Indian section. I absolutely love Indian food, so I got Indian. I did get one piece of Jamaican jerk chicken just to give it a try, and a slice of pizza um, just to check it out. I'm glad that it's still using my No. Oh. I'm fine. I'm gonna look good. <laughs> um, something about the pizza station too. It's it's open until what two a.m. You said? Um, one or two. One or two a.m. So it's not like a 24-hour pizza like some of the other cruise lines. It's um, open and it opens for lunch. It wasn't open for breakfast. It opens lunch. Yeah, noon to one um, in the morning. So if you want your quick your evening pizza fix, it is open. It's all the way at the back of the buffet. It's kind of nice because it sits above the sunset bar um so like if you're down there drinking when come up get a slice of pizza it's just a deck or two above so guys all the food is good the jerk chicken just before I warn you guys it is spicy but it's seasoned it's usually hard to get seasoned chicken on a cruise ship that chicken is seasoned and it's spicy so be aware of that but all of the indian food is really good i highly recommend if you're ever on a cruise ship and you never tried indian food like that would be a great time to try it it's always so flavorful i love it um, the pizza was good too. Um, I wouldn't consider it the best pizza at sea, but it'll do the job. It's For me, it was better than Carnival's pizza. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna finish the lunch and we're gonna get off the ship. So guys, Celebrity has some um, exotic fruits and things. I thought it was decoration at first. I've never had a dragon fruit, isn't that crazy? So we saw a lady um, sitting and she had one, it was a different color. And I'm like, I think that's a dragon fruit. And I said, I thought it was decoration. I didn't know it was for us to have. So they have whole fruits, like exotic fruits. So we're gonna try dragon fruit. I've never had one. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, it's soft. Oh, that is so pretty. Guys, that is so pretty. I've never seen one like that. I mean, I've seen it. I just never had one. Isn't that cool? It's very soft on the inside. Let's try it. You say you just cut it open. Mm. 
It's different. It's not very sweet. It's not very sweet at all. Have you guys ever had a dragon fruit? Definitely not on a cruise ship. I don't think I've ever seen it on a cruise ship. It's different. Very refreshing though. Probably good for hydration. Mm. And guys, these elevators are cool because um, if you press up, the elevator will light up on the outside. Green. Green, if you're going up, it'll light up red. So you don't have to stand here trying to figure out which elevator is opening by looking at the numbers. It'll actually light up red or green so you know which elevator to get into. There we go. See, green. So green means we're going up. So that's a great feature. It says gangway deck too. You know, you get on a cruise ship, you don't know which deck to get off on because sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three, depending on the port. We got in the elevator, we're trying to figure out which where to get off, and it actually has a button that says gangway deck two, and that's usually not lit or it's usually not there. So they must do that once you're in port. That's pretty cool. Going up. All right, we're gonna check out the basement. Oh, this must be a teens club. Hi, ah, is this a teens club or something? Oh. Oh. oh, cool, nice. We we just saw we were about to get off the ship. I'm like, what is that? That's cool. Thank you. Nice. Nice. So to put the teenagers in the basement because they want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We came on it by mistake. Right. Yeah, the other one's, um, okay. um, a deck three. Yeah. That's kind of cool. So we're getting off the ship. Everyone's getting back on. We're kind of late. But there's a restroom right. right when you get back on. That's pretty cool. This one is golden and it's no? Yeah. Course. Oh, it's not bad. It feels good out here. All right, so they do have golf carts here in Port, ooh, in Nassau. <laughs> So we're here at the new Nassau port. Now it's been open for a few months, but this is my first time being here. Kind of cool, they have restrooms right here at the entrance or act, exit of the uh, terminal. Looks like it's more organized as far as lines coming back. Sometimes you're just crowded trying to get back in. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. So you, uh, before you would exit out right here to where like all of the um, straw market, like the smaller straw market area and vendors are. Um, and you know, you would be hassled sometimes for tours and this and that, what have you. But this is like an enclosed in area. So it's a little bit more protected. I should, you know, I don't feel not protected here, but um, it's a little bit more protected because you don't, you're not going outside the gate. So if, you at some point felt uncomfortable coming to Nassau, like unsafe, you're inside the port, the gate, gated area. Um, yeah, you'll be fine. But there's uh, the Bahamas Museum of Junkano, and it says complimentary access to the gift shop. So I think the museum is a charge. All right, they have the actual taxi stand where you can get your taxis all over. Now, I tend to not do the taxis. I will do the jitney buses, which are like $2. Um, here they have different tours 
It says you can do a two and a half hour uh, tour sightseeing for $40 per person. Um, you can catch taxis to Atlantis, to Cable Beach, and all the different resorts. I do the Jitney because it's $2, but if you feel more comfortable catching a taxi, looks like they're regulated and you can find that right here. So it's also nice that they have all of these shops here so you don't have to walk down to the to the straw market now i do believe in yeah that's what i was i was just saying yeah to get out there and support the locals um yeah we're just here to right yeah thank you so yeah i was just saying that so that is probably one of the downfalls of having this port area is that it's not really supporting the local economy like if you were to go to the um straw market and things like that and that's what one of the guys was just saying he was like why don't you guys exit and go to the straw market now this is convenient it's nice to have these shops here but you know if you want to support locally because i'm sure that um all of the money and all you know everything that they're making here is not coming back to the local economy if you want to do that go to the straw market outside the gate support those local vendors out there but again if you want something quick and easy just want to get some souvenirs you can do it right here in the port we do believe in supporting uh, local companies tour companies and things like that so we probably would do more of our shopping outside the gate but again this is convenient <laughs> Cheryl just tried to get a shirt. The guy was like, it's one for 10, um, or I'll cut you a deal and give you five for 60. I'll throw one in for free. Y'all do the math on that. So that's also the thing with this stuff being inside the, the gate. Um, there's probably going to be a markup. Then if you go outside the ship to get it uh, or outside the port, it's probably going to be cheaper if you go outside the port. But again, it's all about convenience. So that's really nice that they have an amphitheater out here. This is all brand new. So all brand new. And if you continue following this path, it's gonna take you right to Senor Frogs. Like we're pretty much there. Um, so it gives you a safer walk. Um, I'll put a clip from one of our other vlogs. We were kind of walking on the outside on the sidewalk. Um, it, it wasn't very safe because the streets are very narrow and they don't drive the best here. So this gives you like a safer um, opportunity to walk to Senor Frogs or to walk to Serenity Beach or Margaritaville rather than walking on the outside. So again, if you choose to do that, that might be a safer option. I personally, I'm okay walking on the outside, but I know some people <laughs> wouldn't prefer that. But yeah, um, I really like this. And I haven't gone too far. And we're already at the straw market. So the straw, mar straw market is outside the gate and it looks like you can actually exit right in front of the straw market. So. Yeah, I love this option. So we've run into quite a few subscribers and supporters this trip. Just ran into Tamika and her family. I appreciate you guys for watching our channel um, and calling me out here in Nassau because um, we always love it when you guys stop and speak. So never feel like you can't stop and say hi. We've met quite a few on the ship as well. So thanks again for all of your support. we are back in the cabin and they dropped off an afternoon snack they said so this is a concierge perk let's see what they gave us hmm. <laughs> 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 
Hmm. What is this? <laughs> Y'all, they're fancy. I don't even know what this is. Guacamole? Some candy ginger, maybe? Tomatoes with feta? And it's oh. supposed to feed two people? Oh, that's for two people? I guess. I don't know if he was supposed to give us each one. Or we're supposed to share this. Um, but this is a very small snack. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> free drinks before dinner. <laughs> gonna take advantage. We're gonna be in the casino anyways. Might as well be strategic coming when we go. All right, no luck in the casino. Um, but it'll give you enough to keep playing for some time. No luck though. But we are headed to the Sunset Grill. No, the Rooftop no. Garden Ooh. Grill um, for dinner. That is a specialty dining yeah. option. They have barbecue type things. So we'll take you guys to see, but we're leaving out with our free drinks. that we could order whatever we want off the menu. He did say that the appetizers are shareable. Um, yeah. So don't overdo it on the appetizers, but we're gonna overdo it a little bit. <laughs> There's four different appetizers. You have salads, you have sides, you have grilled favorites, uh, smoked meat, and then you can actually order steak here. So maybe instead of going to the steakhouse, you could come here. They have ribeye steak, New York steak, different things, and they're all grilled. So everything in this restaurant is grilled. So looks really good and it comes with the fried onion inside with the pasta so your wish is my command you make it dry then i give you the dry <laughs> although i'm not too dry to both of you i'm sweet enough <laughs> okay good thank you okay good it and this is the nice bread feta bread and you're missing cauliflower for the appetizer perfect enjoy my lady thank okay, you thank you So guys, the pulled pork is pretty good. The wings are really good. Um, we got the dry rub. Kind of tastes like, um, <laughs> you guys eat pork rinds? Kind of tastes like the seasoning they have on the spicy pork rinds. So they're spicy and they're smoky. Really good. Yeah, these appetizers are so good. Really good. I really like these dips. These Mediterranean um, dips, hummus and things. Those are good. Wings are great. Pulled pork. It's good, but I would pass on that next time. We're gonna try this cauliflower. Now the fried cauliflower, I thought it would be like a vegetarian option, but it's not, it does have lamb. So if you're thinking it's vegetarian, because on the menu, it didn't tell you what was in it. it did, did it say what was on the menu? I don't think so. When it said fried cauliflower, I was expecting it to be like vegetarian, it's not. So if you want it to be vegetarian, ask for no lamb, but it does include lamb. People are into burgers. Here, mac and cheese, dirty rice, ribs, cornbread. Oh, we got some else coming. Seafood. So, do they have a stand for white cheddar, thick bacon, and fried onion? Yes. So, every night, this is my dinner here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Y'all, this is a lot of food, but it looks so good. It's anything like the appetizers. I know it's amazing because every appetizer was great. Um, I don't know if we'll have room for dessert. 
I haven't seen a dessert menu yet. I might change my mind. <laughs> but this looks really good. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Oh, that's cooked perfectly too. Look at that, mm -hmm. y'all. No, I'm, I'm eating too much. That look, that's cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Guys, look at this mac and cheese. That's how you do mac and cheese. Look at that. All right, time to eat. Rooftop burger, mm -hmm. looks good. Mac and cheese, y'all. It's not your typical cruise ship mac and cheese. It's really good. Yeah, they season that good. So we only had breakfast on it. Yeah. See, I know I keep it honest. The ribs would probably be the only disappointment. They're good. They're very tender, but they're not smoky. It's almost like they're boiled or baked and sauces put on them. Yeah, that'd be the only disappointment. Not even disappointing though. I'm gonna eat them, they're good. They're just not smoky. So guys, the dessert I have, I have the s'mores. It's it's really good. It's just extremely sweet. Now I have a sweet tooth, but not that sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody might like it. It's just way too sweet for me, but it has a good flavor. Um, they toasted the marshmallows right before they brought it to me. Um, so they were a little warm. Just very, very sweet. But everything else has been like amazing like this highly recommend i would even maybe recommend this over the steakhouse they do have steak on the menu so you can order steak here like if you're with traveling with other people and you're debating whether you want to go here or the steakhouse they do have steak items on the menu um yeah i would probably pick this again over the steakhouse the steakhouse was phenomenal as well but i felt like the food here was better so um highly recommend the rooftop grill celebrity ascent um yeah Really, really good. It's that. I smell it. See, so I'll see her over there, right? <laughs> she didn't want a dessert, but she's finishing it off. <laughs> it's so good. It's a hot cookie. It came fresh out the oven. Mm -hmm. And she said it's really good. We think it's chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's really good. they do have buffet for dinner um, but not as many stations are open but yeah you can come here for dinner no problem as this is dinner we have burger station chef's favorites with chicken and fries and looks like maybe some fried shrimp sweet potatoes salad they have hot dogs mac and cheese that looks really good. They have the chicken nuggets and fries for the kids. Grilled favorites. Over here they have, looks like made to order stir fry. And then they have cheeses and meat and fruit and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, nice buffet. Oh, Mexican station. Yeah, I've never seen this many options on a cruise ship. They have an anti-antipasti, I can never say that, bar. Like you can make your own Greek salad. That's refreshing. Look at this. Guys, it all looks so good. Hummus. Wow. They have sweet and savory crepes. Then of course your bakery with all the baked goods. Guys, here's the pool deck at night. Look how it lights up. Isn't that nice? Like the whole pool is lit up. There's a bar back there.
Now that is pretty neat. I don't think I saw it in the daylight. Do you guys see him? Wow. How awesome. So guys, this theater, um, there's really no bad seat. Um, whether you sit up close or sit up high, the way they have it leveled, tiered, there's really no bad seat. This is our view. Welcome to the Celebrity Theater for Showtime. Oh, where am I going? Okay, here we go. Hello, my name is Jesse Hamilton Jr. 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 This next song they all played on, as a matter of fact, these ladies over here in 2024 on select dates will be joining me right here on Celebrity Ascent. So round of applause for my background vocalist. We are back in the cabin. Had a really, really great day today. Felt like a really long day. Um, food, excellent. Entertainment, excellent. Really have no complaints for today. Um, yeah, I don't think any complaints for today. It's been a really good day. So tomorrow is a sea day. We have a few activities planned. We'll show you guys around for a sea day. We're going to bed. We actually stayed up later than yesterday. <laughs> it is now almost 1045, so you guys would be proud. Um, so... So, um, yep, headed to bed and we will see you guys tomorrow.